Welcome to SSR Signatures. During this video, we're going to go over how to send a document so that your client can e-sign it and have it immediately returned back to you. Once you've logged in to SSR, select Signatures and Send for Signature from the control panel. Sending a document is a four-step process. Step one is uploading documents. To upload, drag in or browse out to the documents that need to be e-signed. You may upload multiple documents and they can be in either PDF or Word document format. If you use Word documents, the signer will not have the ability to edit those documents and they will be converted to PDF automatically. You are able to upload 30 documents per transaction. Once documents are uploaded, you will need to select a document type for each one. Click Next to move to Step 2, Adding Signers and Messaging. Your email address will appear by default as the sender. If your firm has delegation enabled, you may be able to select a different sender from this dropdown. This will change which user's name will appear in email notifications going out to signers. The signers field is for email addresses. You can send documents to as many senders as needed. They are only able to sign sequentially, so one person at a time will e-sign and only when that has been completed will the next person in the chain receive a notification. Signers can share email addresses. They will each receive an email when it's their turn to e-sign. The CC field is for people who need to be able to download the final completed documents but are not signing. The title will be the text that appears in the subject line of the initial email notification. The message will appear in the body of that same email, along with a link that will take signers to the eSign process. Templates can be created ahead of time and new messages can be added on the fly. Click Next to move to Step 3, Signature Placement. Select the first document from the control panel and locate where the signature fields need to be placed for the first signer. Drag and drop those fields into the desired location. You can move them once dropped if needed. Once all fields for that signer are placed, select the next signer from the drop-down on the right and repeat the previous steps. Do this for each document. You can also drag and drop any of the other applicable fields from the right. Click Next to move to Step 4, Set Access. You can restrict access for any documents as needed. Those users who should be able to view documents will need to be in the Authorized Users box on the right. Click Finish to send the document to the first signer. 